the sun shone upon the sleeping earth. Into this swirling maelstrom of fire, air, and water, the first stirrings of life appeared. The seeds of life grew and strengthened, spread and diversified. Now, it required but one more ingredient, a great leader, to unite the quarreling tribes, to harness the power of the land, to build a legacy that would stand the test of time, a civilization. And so it falls upon you to fulfill our people's true destiny. Under your leadership, we shall surely prosper. From the seeds of this small settlement shall you grow our empire. Our people await your command. With these builders, we will forge our civilization piece by piece across the land. Basic agriculture provides much needed sustenance and stability for our people. Farms may also be added over resources such as rice fields to further develop our lands. Quarries provide greater access to building materials, increasing our insight in construction. Our builders' efforts are not in vain. Beyond developing the surrounding area, we may now make improvements to the city itself. Advancements such as granaries and water wheels better the lives of our people. We are now ready to expand our reach beyond our borders. These brave settlers are ready to carry our culture into the unknown. The lands before us are filled with untold resources and dangers. We must choose the site of our next city carefully. Gazing upon the ocean, our new city's inhabitants already plan on how they may rule the waves. However, alone and isolated, this new city will not prosper. To truly thrive, we must become one people. These traders allow us to connect our people. Exchanging resources between our cities brings with it great advances. It is the dawning of a new age. Our cities are now free to develop as never before. For the first time, our civilization spreads beyond the heart of our cities, allowing for the creation of new districts. Each with its own focus and distinct advantages. Religious districts strengthen the faith of our people. Inspired to create true wonders within our lands, we push our civilization to new heights. And find that we are capable of true wonders. But our cities do not always need to follow the same path. Where one looks inward for enlightenment, the other focuses on more pragmatic concerns. The creation of this district allows for the greater protection of our people. Barracks provide much needed combat advantages, further bolstering our forces. For there will always be those who wish to destroy all we have accomplished. Barbarian forces continually prey upon our lands. 
thankfully, we are now prepared. Our warriors are well trained, but this is just a raiding party. To ensure the safety of our borders, we must defeat the enemy at its source. Victory! Our people are secure. And upon these once untamed grounds, our civilization grows. A new age is upon us, and we find ourselves but one part of a larger world. We are no longer alone. Welcome to the United States of America. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. This new world presents us with new possibilities. Our neighbors have access to resources we desperately need. A trade agreement here benefits both our people. As our relationships and resources grow, so too must our own leadership. We may now enact new policies to further steer the growth of our civilization. Beyond military and economic growth, there are also the cultural needs of our people to consider. As culture advances, new opportunities present themselves to us. The theater and arts district allows our people to express themselves as never before. The results are breathtaking. Truly, we have achieved a golden age of peace and cooperation. But as with all things, this golden age cannot last. The industrial age brings great advancements, but also great need for resources. Cooperation becomes competition. We find our world shrinks. Now, more than ever, we must make the most of what land and resources we do have. This industrial district is key to maximizing our production capabilities. But these mechanical marvels require new sources of power. Fuel is now as valuable as food in this industrial age. While we are fortunate, other civilizations are not. They view our prosperity with jealous eyes. Our enemy knows us well. They have hit us close to heart, destroying valuable resources. Still, we are not without our own forces. The days of spear and arrow are long since behind us. It is time we show this invader our true might. Done. But this enemy cannot be left to lick its wounds and fight again. Our onslaught must be absolute. Are you commit 
ne huti ir nen se heni spai merer se heni nana hu to the victor goes the spoils our civilization heals and grows more powerful As our people advance, we realize that our future may hold more possibilities than combat. We discover our true potential. And achieve greatness. In this new age, our people truly surpass expectation. Prepare for ignition. Till finally, we move forward to the next chapter of our destiny.